Hey guys, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you find this particular video helpful or useful, be sure to hit that like button, maybe leave a comment. It really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So, today's product is available on Amazon, and there is a link in the description that will take you to the product page where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is a gaming chair. As you can see that I am sitting in by a company called Adorva. Uh, super comfortable. So let's go over all the features, but before we do, let's go ahead and show you some quick footage of how it goes and gets installed. Installing took a little bit under 30 minutes to put all the pieces together, but pretty easy. So let's roll that footage right now. Okay, so installing was very easy. Um, actually, the hardest spot was putting on the final leg, just getting it to slide in. But other than that, everything went together really quick. The instructions were very easy to follow. Um, you just kind of have to take your time with it. And like I said, it takes about 30 minutes total to fully install by yourself. Um, but yeah, I really liked the process. I also liked how... Uh, they had actually included all the screws attached, so you would remove the screws and then attach uh, the various pieces, which made it nice because sometimes with these instructions, it's hard to figure out what screw goes where, um, just because, you know, when you're opening the packages, they get kind of get messed up. So that was kind of a nice little feature when attaching the chair and getting everything positioned. But uh, overall, it coming in pieces was not a big deal whatsoever. Uh, installing was very easy. Okay, now that you've seen the install, let's go over all the various features that this gaming chair has because there's a lot and there's a lot of things you can do to customize it to your liking. So first off, right off the bat, you'll see that a lot the top here and the back, it has this memory foam uh, lumbar pillow. So this can be removed or it can be placed down here. It has a nice comfortable squish. I really like this a lot. And then at the top, it has this memory foam uh, headrest, which also can be removed. There's a little strap here. Now, I like this because it fits perfectly for my head. But for example, my wife, who is shorter, does not care for it. So she simply can take it off and then strap it along the back. And then I can put it back where I want it when I'm using the chair. If you don't have it, you can see it has these little holes here. And it's all this nice faux leather look to it with this green cross stitching on it. Now, one of the other cool things about this chair is the armrest. So these armrests are like 3D armrests. So first off, you have a nice little uh, more tight cush to them. There is a little bit uh, give to the nice kind of leather faux covering on there. I don't know what the material actually is, but on the side here, you have a little lever, pull that up, and then you can raise the armrest whatever height you want. In addition to that, you can also tilt it so it can tilt out, it can be level or tilt in. So depending on what you're doing or how you're uh, using this, typing, whatnot, you can adjust this to where it's most comfortable. And then the next feature is it slides forward or backwards. And as you can hear, all those little notches anywhere in between. So really the armrests really give you a lot of features and options and because it has that little bit of a give to it like if you're putting your elbow like this it's comfortable you're not feel like you're hitting a hard plastic or anything like that um, it's more comfortable when you are typing up high or using your mouse or whatnot like that so really really nice feature in my opinion now the seat itself let's go over the seat so it has these little flare sides here which is great because it kind of cradles the sides of your legs. Once again, nice um, kind of faux leather with the cross stitching of the green. To give you an idea of the seat size itself, it is 20.5 inches in depth and 16 inches wide. Now, the back part is 31 and a half inches tall. And the total base, so like the, I guess you could say the whole width of this chair is 27 and a half inches wide, and then it can support up to 300 pounds. Now, the wheels move really easy. 
and very fluid. So it's easy to move around as you need, no issues there. And then on the side here is where you can have the rest of the controls. So first off at the very bottom, if you wanna lift up, it is just gonna allow you to raise or lower the chair however you want. And then there is a free or lock control that you can do that will keep it from moving around. Now there is a free or lock mode, which if you push that in, it's gonna lock it, which is gonna keep it from rocking. Um, if you want it out, it will have that rock. Now on the bottom side under the chair, there is a knob which will control that tension of the rocking. Uh, now let's go over another cool aspect of this um, because like I said, chair features a lot of stuff. So hidden under the front here is a footrest. Just pull this out like so and flip it out and then you have a nice little footrest. So right off, you can kick back and you can kind of relax, but this is where the chair gets really fun and interesting here. There's this little lever right here, pull on that, and then you can adjust the back seat to whatever angle you want and lay kind of down, depending if you're watching something up high, or even if you want to take a nap, because this chair will actually recline from 90 degrees, which is straight up, all the way down to 165 degrees. So let's pull it all the way down so you can see what it looks like. So, here you go, you've got almost laying completely flat. This is perfect for if you have a TV on the ceiling or if you want to take a nap. And you can see it still has that rocking motion if you want. So it really gives you the customizable features that you need in a chair. Pull it back up and it comes back into position as you need it. If you're done with the footrest, just flip it around and then slide it back underneath the chair so it is out of your way and free to use again. Okay, guys, that is the ins and outs of this really nice gaming chair. I'm a big fan of it because I love all the customizable features so that way you really tailor it to what is comfortable for you. And I like the material, the faux leather and the cross stitching. It just looks nice uh, hanging out in my office. Um, but yeah, that is basically the ins and outs. So if there is something that I missed that you're curious about that I just didn't cover, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. And then, like I said, be sure to check out the link in the description to see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. And that is it until the next video. You guys, take it easy. Later. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.